you are not watching this video to replicate what i've said i know you apply to various other companies tell me why you will not hire me <laughs> Besties, today I'll be talking about five interview questions and I'll be giving the answers. So before I go on, let's start with our disclaimers. Today I have two disclaimers. The first disclaimer is I am not an HR expert at all. I'm only sharing from my wealth of knowledge and experience. Then the second disclaimer is, of course, this video is about healthcare or support work jobs. However, it can be applied to any job literally any job if you're watching me for the first time my name is ada and i'm also known as the legal pepe i share knowledge and information in a very relatable manner so i would like to tell you to stay subscribed to my community so let's start now the first interview question by the way none of these questions are exhaustive so what that means is there are many questions i have for you but i wanted this video to be short and sweet so whilst i talk about the five questions if you like what you've heard and you want a part two let me know so the first question as you know is tell me about yourself congratulations if you've applied for jobs and now you have gotten an email for the interview the first question they would most likely ask is tell me about yourself one guide i want you to follow is when they ask you any question you should be calculating why are they asking me this question for instance tell me about yourself they know you already because they have your cv and they have your cover letter so why are they asking you to talk about yourself basically they want to check your confidence level they don't want to hear everything that's already in your cv they want to hear something different if i am asked the question this is going to be my answer thank you for inviting me for this interview and thank you for the question my name is ada I am passionate about helping people and that has led me into choosing this path of being a care worker or support worker depending on the job role. I am an empathetic individual with great work ethics and I love making a difference in people's lives, hence my choice of wanting to be a support worker. So that's it. That's what I would say. Now you can say various things. You are not watching this video to replicate what I've said. But the most important thing is when they tell you to talk about yourself, you're not going to be talking about what is already in your CV. That's your first chance to give an amazing first impression and also to sell yourself. Basically, sell yourself why they should hire you. Because for you to have gotten the interview, that's like you're almost there. Because there are many people that would have made the applications and they would not have called them for the interview. So yes, your CV has given you like a pass, but now you have to sell yourself orally. Highlight your strengths, which would make you an amazing support worker. Just know how you couch your words to link you being a support worker, a care worker, or whatever role you are applying for. The second question would be, why do you want to work for us? Now, the idea behind this question is to check if you've made your research or did you just scroll through Google or Indeed or Total Jobs or whatever job sites you used and you just applied into various companies. Of course, I know that's what you did because <laughs> most likely that's what many people do. However, it should not make them feel you did not make your research. So yes, I know you applied to various other companies. However, you should make your research on the company you are applying into. So when they ask you this question, you would have a very sensible, reasonable reason as to why you want to be in the company. If you have not made your research, let me give you a generic answer that you can use or something like this. So I would say I am particular about the kind of company I work for because I care about making an impact in people's lives. From my research, I have realized that your company has great work ethics. I also realized that you care about the well-being of the individuals you support and I would want to be part of that. That makes me know that I am a great fit for your company. Plus, with my added skills and abilities, I would be an indelible asset to your company. Tell me why you will not hire me. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> I'm just joking you. But the truth is, a lot of these things I say, 
I have applied and I would not lie to you I have gotten lots of job offers especially as a carer or a support worker it's just that for me personally because of my responsibilities and also the whole 20 hours thingy I can't work for every company so I had to like pick the companies that we are favorable to me so once you have all of these little little hacks it makes it easy for you to actually get jobs by the way before i go on every job i've gotten or almost every job i've gotten i got on indeed so that's an amazing job site let's continue number three what are your strengths and weaknesses now this is one of my favorite questions now for your strengths i don't even need to be telling you what to say you should have strength you should have strength and use that opportunity to sell yourself you are a great team worker you have amazing work ethics you are empathetic you are innovative you make sound decisions you see all those sweet sweet things see i should not be telling you your strengths you should know your strengths so talk about your strengths with as much confidence as you can muster now are we talking about the weakness because that is where people make the mistake now when they ask you about your weakness <laughs> if you have weakness or bad character please that's not the time to talk about it i beg you because it's not every weakness that is a weakness so, so weaknesses are very 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 bad so when they ask you for your weakness if you say you have no weakness you know you are capping you are capping because you're not perfect everyone has weaknesses but the most important thing when talking about your weaknesses is first of all talk about a weakness that still indirectly puts you in a good light i'll tell you mine later then not only that after talking about your weakness please talk about how you are tackling that weakness because you are not supposed to just know about your weaknesses or your weakness and you're doing absolutely nothing about it so for me the weakness i always say which is actually a weakness is when i am passionate about a job i tend to overwork myself so i am that kind of employee who would go over and above her usual hours and work harder so that's just me basically however i am learning how to properly prioritize my time and create an adequate work-life balance so that my social life or other aspects of my life would not suffer this i have done by reading self-development books and listening to podcasts guys see what i've said now i have said i work too hard now that's supposed to be a weakness to me but guess what your employer hears that as a strength at least most employers because the truth is most employers want people that know how to work hard or work smart or work basically because they're not going to be employing you to just waste or while away their time they want you to actually work so that's a weakness but indirectly it is actually a strength so look for weaknesses that can be like that could say for instance you're the type of person that is very innovative and sometimes you find it difficult to ask for help especially because you know you can do it however you are learning to tackle that because you are working in a team and you know that as innovative as you can be it's also important to learn more from other people and that makes the team grow bigger see that's a weakness so learn to harness your weaknesses in a way that it actually makes sense don't go and tell them that you're a thief or that you're very lazy please please trust me i'm not saying you should lie because you shouldn't actually however you should have weaknesses that you can harness in a professional manner i hope you understand what i'm saying the first question is how would you deal with conflicts with a co-worker now they know that in an organization with people conflicts are bound to happen but what they don't want is for you to come into the company and you come and wreak havoc on the company although sometimes it's even the people in the company that actually wrecks the havoc we know that but let's leave that aside <laughs> the point is when they ask you that question they want to know how you handle conflict and anybody would know that the best way to handle conflict is by properly communicating because most conflicts actually would die down if there is proper communication. So this is going to be my answer if I'm asked that question. I will say something like, if I have a conflict with a co-worker, maybe the co-worker is upset with something I did, 
what i would do is to call the co-worker privately and try to talk to the co-worker to see if there is something i have done to trigger the co-worker before i go on now you are calling the co-worker aside privately to see if there is something you have done because most times it's easier to blame the person but sometimes you are the one that even triggered the person hopefully after that conversation there will be no more conflict however if after communicating with the co-worker it's obvious that there is still bad blood or some things that needs to be sorted out by management then you will talk to your supervisor to mediate between both of you that's it now don't say you will just go and talk to your supervisor because the supervisor is doing their job, so you should not be bothering them. You should first try to talk to the person. And if it's a conflict that is going to really cause so much bad blood, then of course, your management should know about it. Now, the fifth question. By the way, remember that the first question was, tell me about yourself. And that's usually the beginning part of every interview. This fifth question is usually the ending part of any interview. And that is, do you have a question for us? This is one part that a lot of people just disregard. Never. Do not leave an interview without asking them a question. Because when you ask them a question, it shows that you are interested in the company. And trust me, if you have made your research, there will be one or two questions you would have for them. Now let's assume that you did not make any research. I would give you three questions that you can ask any company. Now the first question, this is what I would usually say, would be, what is the career or development plan for this role in future? Now, asking that question shows the company that I am actually interested in being with them for long because I'm asking what the career progression or development plans would be for the role. That's it. For instance, in all my, all my job interviews, actually, I've asked this question, but deep down, I actually know that I have no plans of staying there for years because care of support job is just a means to an end. Yes, I'm an empath. Yes, I love helping people, but I would not be a carer for life. But asking the question shows that I actually have plans of being in the company. So that's one question you can ask. Another question you can ask is, if employed, what are the expectations of this role? Now, you actually know the expectations of a healthcare or support worker. However, in that particular company, there may be disparities, there may be differences. For instance, I've worked in various companies and I can tell you that it's not the same. There are some companies that they expect you to do certain things that you're not expected of in another company. So that's also a good question to ask. Another question you can ask is, how has this position evolved over the years? This also shows that you care about the progress or the continuity of the company because you're asking them how the history of that role has been. And that's going to be an opportunity for your employer to talk about the role, to talk about the company. Now, so those are the three questions you can ask. There was one day I went for an interview and I was feeling so confident and hyper. Guess the question I actually asked. Let me tell you. So with a smile on my face, they asked me, do you have any questions for us? And I said, when am I resuming this job? <laughs> it was so funny because I don't know where that came from. I just said it. And the employer was just laughing. And she was like, ah, nice try. <laughs> it was so funny. Of course, I got the job. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not saying that's the reason I got the job, but I got the job. So that's it. So those are the five interview questions for your care or support worker job. As you can see, these questions actually would apply to various other job positions. If you love this video and you want a part two of it, let me know in the comment section. But if I don't see any comments about it, we move because I have so many contents for you. But if you want to know more interview questions, because it's not just going to be five questions they would ask you. There are so much more. If you're interested, drop in the comment. And of course, if you like this video, please don't be stingy with your likes. Don't be stingy with your subscription. And also, if you want to follow me in real time, 
follow my IG page. Finally, if you want to buy the personal statement course, I'll be dropping the link both in the description box and in the pinned comment. I'm going to see you on Saturday by 6 p.m. Bye! <laughs>